a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. <laughs> My name is Dan Wolford. I sell software and e-commerce solutions. I work out to stay competitive and stay in shape. My range of girls definitely varies from short, tall, dark, light, funny, dry, all different types. A limit day. <laughs> I brought the girls to Sports Club LA in Washington, D.C. to really get a better understanding as to how competitive they are. I'm going to be looking for a girl who's, who's competitive, but also, more importantly, has a great attitude. Hi, my name's Anu. Anu? I'm nice Dan, to nice to meet you. My name's Anu Mara, and I'm an account manager for a market research company. I weight lift three or four times a week, and I probably do a lot more weight than I look like I do. I'm not worried about any competition on this date. If it has anything to do with intelligence, ambition, or even weightlifting, I'm gonna kick their butts. <laughs> Hi, how are you? How are you doing? I'm Jessica. Jessica, I'm nice Dan. To nice to meet you. you. My name is Jessica Bifferetti, and I'm a children's music teacher. So I want everybody to sing with me. I love to play, I love to have fun. My secret weapon with guys is definitely my chest. I am um, very proud of them, but my smile is really great too. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Nava. My name is Nava Kritu, and I work as an apprentice chef. I love food, and I love that you taste things. I love the smell of things. It's very sensual. Men get very excited when I tell them I'm a chef. I think they imagine me cooking them these meals. Unfortunately, I'm not around at night to cook for them. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm Stacy. Stacy, I'm Dan. Nice and I want to give you a little daisy. Thank you. My name is Stacey Hogan, and I am an account executive for an insurance company. I can go up to a guy and talk to him about pretty much anything. I mean, and if that means that that's flirting, then yes, I'm definitely a flirt. I would say I'm a huge risk taker, and I'm very spontaneous as well. So now that we're all here, it's going to be a party, I think. <laughs> I think we'll have a lot of fun. He's a really good-looking guy. He seems like a really nice person. An all-American sweetheart. Is this where you wanted this? Oh, you can put it anywhere you want. <laughs> Whatever feels comfortable. <laughs> the daisy was so lame. I think Dan's probably just holding the toilet paper daisy that he can give it back to her so she can wipe her tears and blow her nose with it after he cuts her. <laughs> First, we, uh, we walked into the pool, got to know each other a little bit. I'm pretty athletic. You guys look like you're athletic. What do you guys like to do? I cook for a living, so I'm on my feet all the time. I work with a bunch of guys, so I have to you know, step it up. Do you wear the big chef's hat and all that? No, we don't, thank God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty interesting. I've never really dated a chef before. What do you guys like to do? Well, I'm a very adventurous person. Hiking, mountain biking, skydiving, scuba diving. I like girls that are both spontaneous and adventurous. She seems like she's both. Our first activity, we're actually going to have a race. And I don't think you guys are going to want to do it in the clothes you're wearing right now. You guys are going to have to separate into teams, however you'd like. Given our time schedule, five minutes to change. Yeah, great. Enough time? Perfect. Perfect. One minute they had all their clothes on, the next minute they're in a bathing suit. It was pretty interesting. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I, I guess this is where we can say the competition begins. It should be a lot of fun. When I saw Nava in a bathing suit, I just thought, there's no competition. They all have pretty good bodies. I think Stacy is a little bit more busty than the others. When you take your clothes off and you're in a bathing suit, you can tell who's, who's talking and who's walking. The race actually started with uh, each of the girls attempting and finally successfully getting onto the rafts. All right, one, two, three. After she fell off the raft and she started to run with the raft and pulling her partner along with her, it just showed that she really wanted to win, which I like. You guys better hurry up, they're catching you. <laughs> Stacy and Anu won the first race. I was kind of coaching her through what we were doing. I kept on telling her when to stroke. I stayed on the raft and I kind of carried her at the end, so I was pushing at the end, I think a little bit more than she was. Well, congratulations, you guys are the winners. You guys are actually going to have to race again. Then we actually took the, the winning team and separated them and had them do the same thing. The winner of this race is actually going to get to spend five minutes alone with me in a raft. I really wanted to win. I was kind of excited to, to compete against her. One, two, three. Oh, no! The wipeout! I think Stacy really expected 
expected to win the raft race. Yeah, you're on easy street. You're almost there. When she fell off, I was swimming free to the end and did what I could. Well, how do you feel being the winner now? Great. <laughs> All right, get on. I let a new win because I know I'm going to win at the end. When Dan and I were trying to get into the tube together, it was quite an experience. Hey. No! Hello, she can't even get on the raft. <laughs> Come on. Come on. She's not organized there. It caught my attention when, when Stacy played with her uh, breasts. <laughs> hey, I tend to do a lot of adventurous things, but Oh my God. I should plan my trip to Thailand and Japan. Obviously, you know, she didn't want me spending that much time with Anu. Cece was getting a little annoying when she was yelling at us while we were trying to have a perfectly decent conversation. Oh no! Oh my! Yeah. Oh, sorry! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I didn't mean that it was an accident. It was fair. It was really an accident. I find Stacy annoying and obnoxious. I don't think she's worth anyone's time. Stacey definitely did go to the water and kick water all in my face. She was just being silly. I just ignore her. Maybe she noticed that Anu and I were having a great conversation and she wanted to be involved. I think it's been fun. She's trying to distract me so that I take my attention away from Dan. The way she's acting about this just kind of makes her look desperate. Coming up, who will Dan cut first? I think the person will get cut is either Nava or Jessica. I think Jessica's going to get cut first because she's not She's not showing enough interest. I sort of think Dan is going to cut Nava. I want Stacy to get cut. I don't ever want to be within five feet of that girl ever again. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think Dan will eliminate first? Nava, Jessica, Stacy, or Anu? I just wanted to say to all of you, I had a great time in there. I thought the first activity was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, this is a tough part. I mean, I have to make a decision to who to go and who to stay. Novel. We really didn't have a chance to, to talk that much. I feel I didn't get to know you as well as the other three during the first round of competition. It was wonderful. I had a great time with you. Thank you. He wasn't very appealing to me. Um, and therefore, I think that I didn't really care that much to pursue him. Right off the get-go, I really wasn't too attracted to Nava. She didn't speak up that much. She didn't really get to know Dan. She didn't ask him very many questions. Obviously, they have nothing in common. The best part about being cut is that I don't have to deal with Stacy anymore today. Next, we're going to play a game of squash where I'm going to be able to learn something personal about each one of the girls. In round one, I obviously noticed their physical characteristics. Round two, I hope to learn a lot more about their personalities. Basically, the game's going to start. We're going to pair off into teams, however you guys want to do that. The, uh, the winning team is actually going to uh, get to ask the other team a personally revealing question. All right, let's go. What are the teams? I want to play with you. <laughs> Perfect. That's fine. Good, I have no choice. problem with that. And you just jumped right in and wanted to be partners with him, which was fine, because um, I was willing to be competitive in that way. Car. Any type of Ferrari. Oh, do you like fast cars? <laughs> Winners. If you could change any one thing about yourself, what would it be? It would have to be a physical characteristic. I'd probably get a nose job. Have you ever had plastic surgery before? No, I haven't. That's a good question. The way she was fondling her breasts when we were in the pool, I thought maybe she had a boob job. <laughs> All right, it bounced twice. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a million dollars, you know, what would you buy? I guess I would probably just buy shoes or a pool. <laughs> shoes or a pool? <laughs> pool, shoes. <laughs> Jessica doesn't strike me as a very intellectual person. She has a fetish with shoes and I guess she wants to swim in the pool. I have one last question. What is the most erotic part of your body? Behind my knee. Behind your knee? Wow. What? Behind your knee. Mm -hmm. Very sensitive. Never heard that one before. <laughs> well, you have now. <laughs> How many people do you now like to be licked behind the knee? Come here and lick me behind the knee. <laughs> would you like to hear something that you heard from every single girl, or would you like to hear something different? It was an interesting response, but I know that she took it from Ellie McBeal. I really wasn't turned on when she asked me to lick her behind her knees. Thanks, man. It was Thanks. cool. Really fun. After squash, I asked each of the girls to give me a 10-second massage. 
All right, uh, the next part of the day is actually going to be very interesting. I'm winner of this activity. We'll get a 10 minute rock massage from me. Mm, all right. Does that sound good? <laughs> I'm going to take a 10 second massage from each of you. And based on who gives the best 10 second massage, I'll escort them down to the, the massage parlor or I'll oh. play with the rocks and we'll have a good time. How are we going to give you a real massage with your shirt on? Woo! I'm glad this excites you. <laughs> I feel like it sort of embarrassed him a little bit. Good looking guy taking his shirt off. I, I don't have a problem with that. No, I'm not looking, I promise. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's pretty firm. She's killing me, it's 10 seconds up yet. <laughs> the first one was, was pretty rough and painful. A little too abrasive and harsh. And she did leave some serious red marks on his back. I'm a big fan of massages and I was very eager to win the prize. So I was thrilled to death to give him a 10 second massage. All right, that, that's way too much. <laughs> How about the next person? <laughs> you do this often? I think that my massages are very real to what a massage is supposed to be. I definitely thought about which one I thought was best. They were all incredible massages. Can I take all three? <laughs> <laughs> Say number uh, two. When I found out that Anu won the massage, I was surprised. I thought it would be Stacy. I believe I should have won. With three women around and all of them feeling his back, it's very difficult for someone to differentiate what feels good and what doesn't. I brought the girls down to the day spa. Now it's my turn. Winning the massage for me is a great thing. I felt like I was getting very special treatment. Really hard. Really hard? Like, really hard. Really? You can't go too hard. Really? <laughs> really. I guarantee you can't hurt me. Ooh, that's a challenge. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> I was squeezing as hard as I could and still that wasn't hard enough. I need to have it really hard and unfortunately he didn't do it quite hard enough. How's that feel? Oh, actually that is really good. Yeah? You mm -hmm. like it like that? Uh -huh. Like this? Uh -huh. A little soft? A little harder. Just a little harder? Uh -huh. You want it harder? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you're very hard. Oh my gosh, you I'm should not have sure oh. what they were doing exactly. I know that they were getting Dan's attention though. What are we gonna do? Sit there, stand there and watch him massage someone else? I kinda think mine and Stacey's massage was better anyways. Do you wanna watch this? Oh girl, that's good. Yeah, it does feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, poor new. This is pretty good. <laughs> Why don't we make a sandwich up here or something? Jessica and Stacy had their own party going on, rubbing each other, vice versa. I was more entertained by watching Stacy and Jessica than giving Anu a massage. I was happy to be the one getting massaged by Dan as opposed to getting massaged by some of the other girls. Sorry, Anu. Hate to bust your bubble, but he was paying attention to us. And this could feel really good, too. I'm just put them everywhere. What are you doing over there? <laughs> what, what, what do you like to see? Dan cut next. Well, I think that Jessica's gonna get cut. She still doesn't have enough in common with Dan. Honestly, I think I might be the one to get cut. I think Jessica is gonna go bye-bye. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Dan going to eliminate next? Jessica, Anu, or Stacy? I just wanted to say that I had a great time today. I felt playing both uh, squash and getting the massages from all of you as well as giving the massage was a lot of fun. I've had fun with all of you. Uh, Jessica, because you take a back seat, uh, I really don't think I've gotten to know you as well as I have the other two. Uh, I've had a lot of fun today. It's been so much fun. Thank you very much. I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face to get chosen to leave before a new and Stacy. She seemed to be a little bit more shallow than the other two girls. Jessica is just a little bit quieter and it hurt her in that. Dan has a really tough round ahead of him with those two women competing. We're now down to the final two and um, now it's time to play dirty. I had to find out a little bit more about what Dan is looking for. After hanging out with the girls in the gym, I wanted to bring them both to the bar and get a little bit more intimate with them. Wow, a little different from the sweatsuits. <laughs> nice to see you guys both look fabulous. No, I really want to get to know you both a little bit better. In your past relationships and stuff, do you guys think that guys and girls can be friends? Yes, I do. Because some of my best guy friends are my ex-boyfriends. If you can't be friends in a relationship, then why bother even continuing it? I was just wondering, this is a very simple question. What do you look for in a woman? I look for a lot of things. You know, I like women that are career-oriented. I like women that like to have fun. I got to know them, got to ask them some questions. Then we more moved into some more interesting stuff. Kissing is very important to me, obviously. Basically, why don't you do kiss a napkin? Basically, okay. we, we want to be able to interpret your kissing style. Okay. Well, here it goes. Mm -hmm. 
to eat it. <laughs> I kissed it. And I did want to eat it. Got stuck to my lipstick. <laughs> yeah, I used my tongue, but um, that's not unusual in real kissing scenarios. So now a new. Uh, based on you know, what you've seen, what type of kisser do you think Stacy is? Well, she's probably very forceful and it looks like she drools. <laughs> All I could think was, imagine that being someone's lips. How do you see drool off the napkin? It's all ripped up. <laughs> it's because my lipstick got stuck to it and I had to get it off of my tongue. <laughs> A real kiss doesn't appear on paper as it does face to face. Right. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking, you know, it's a little pressure. I think that she is probably a very gentle, soft kisser. Maybe a little too soft. It just looks like I was leaving a love note and kissing it. And that's what I would do well, if I left a love note. But not if I were, well, yeah, but not if I were kissing a guy. I mean, so. Well, I'm not going to tongue a napkin. I'm Me, sorry. Hey, you know, tongue, if you got to get it, you got to get it from somewhere. You may as well get it from a napkin. Uh, I'm not that desperate. I really sensed the cat fight. I thought each of them were going to grab each other and pour drinks on each other. If I were doing it in person and physically kissing you, um, I, I wouldn't be jamming my tongue in your mouth right away. It would be a little lip action going. That's actually pretty interesting. Do you, I mean, do you want to try? Yeah. So you want, to, you want me to kiss you right now? In front of her? Maybe you should kiss me first. Really? I don't want Stacy's germs. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I don't mind finishing up. Really? <laughs> Make her feel good. Uh-oh. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty good. It was good, but it was a little short, and I, I couldn't really show him what I have. Oh, you want to kiss? nothing like the napkin, for sure. I think that Stacy may have altered her kissing style. She probably went for something a little bit softer. I would say after two very intense kisses that Anu's a better kisser than, than Stacy. I enjoyed kissing both of them. I'd love to kiss them both again. Yeah. There may be one more kiss left. Yeah, maybe. Let's do that again. <laughs> Will it be Stacy or Anu? I really think that he made a much better connection with me than he did with her. I know that I kissed him last, and I know that kiss closed the deal. A limited day. <laughs> Both of you had a great time. I think our last event was pretty interesting. <laughs> I truly, truly enjoyed it. They're both outstanding kissers, by the way. Yay! <laughs> this is the part I really hate. I hate, you know, picking Absolutely. someone and not picking someone else. So I, I really have to cut one of you right now. And uh, Anu, I think that, you know, I think that you're great. I think you're terrific. I'm not really sure I got to know the true you throughout the whole day. I had a great time with you, though. Yeah, I had a great time. It's nice meeting you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> There's someone excited. <laughs> Dan just made the biggest mistake because Stacy, I thought, was the one who tried really hard to say the things that he wanted to hear. I think he chose the right person, and I thought that way the whole way, so. Yay, good for him, good for me. <laughs> Sorry for them. Boy, that sucks for them. Dan, if you're as nice of a guy as you came off to be, I just want to warn you that I think that Stacy's going to eat you alive. I would really like to take you out and get to know you a little bit better than I know you right now. I think that you know we share a lot of the same interests, and again, I'd like to get to know you better. Cool, I think we could do that. Really? Yeah. When? Right now. <laughs> <laughs>